Children? Come and see me on this last day of the year. And you're off school and all that kind of stuff. Anybody else? No, no Tori. Here comes Tori. Come on up. Got to have all the girls up here this morning. We're missing our boys. Sue took off to Florida on us and took our boys away. What have I got here? Mary is on um, a donkey and Joseph is making sure and is Mary's holding um, baby Jesus. Jesus. Sometimes we look at this and miss the fact that Mary is holding baby Jesus. Sometimes we think this is a, a uh, picture or a thought of, of uh, when they went to Bethlehem, but actually at this time they're escaping. They're le you know what it means to escape? What's it, it mean? It means that they're leaving. They're, they're having to get out quietly so nobody catches them. They're having to leave Bethlehem and they're going to a faraway country called Egypt. And they go, they go there for Jesus' safety so that he might be safe. <laughs> Is your hot in here? Most people say today's cold. Uh, so let me show you this story in the Bible and, and read you a, a little bit about it calls this a nighttime escape. Look at this. See the pictures? Okay. Let's, let's look. There's an angel right there visiting Joseph while he's sleeping. Joseph gets uh, these angels coming to him while he sleeps quite often. King Herod had not forgotten the visit of the wise man. They had told him that a new king had been born, and that new king was Jesus. This new king would be the king of the Jews. And Herod didn't like that. He wanted to find this baby in order that he might kill this baby. So sad that he thought that way. God knew that King Herod wanted to hurt Jesus, so he sent an angel to Joseph in a dream. See the picture of that? See, Joseph, it startles him. See him laying there and the angel above him? The angel said, King Herod wants to hurt Jesus. You must run away right now. Take Jesus to Egypt and stay there until I tell you that it's safe to come back. So Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus, see our picture here? So you want to hold that for me? Okay. Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus quickly rose in the middle of the night and they took Jesus to, Jesus to Egypt. And they lived there until this angel came back to Joseph once again and said, now King Herod is dead, so it's safe to go home. So Joseph and Mary moved back to a, the place they had originally been, that new that place. No, actually it went about all the way back to Nazareth. And they went there where they'd lived before Jesus had been born. And then Joseph went there. And you know what Joseph taught Jesus to do after that? What to do? He told him how, taught him how to be a carpenter, to build things. Because Joseph himself was a carpenter. So that's a, a brief history and story of God's love towards Joseph and Mary and how Jesus was protected and then how, where Jesus went to be raised as a child, like you guys are. And so we this morning... We want to be thankful that God came to Joseph and Mary when he did so that Jesus could be safe. And that also reminds us that God keeps us safe with him. You guys looking forward to a new year? What's the, what's the number for next year? I'll see if it answers your little quiz this morning. No, you've, you've already answered. Anybody else know what next year is? What's, what's next year? What's the 20 what? 2015? No, it's not. Yeah. No. It's 2000. 2018 next year. That's the coming year. So we leave 2017 behind and we go forth to 2018. So let's pray as we do that today. Lord, we, we um, give thanks that you protected Jesus in this time of need and that you sent the angel to come to Joseph and Mary. Lord, you come to us as well. We pray that as we go into 2018 that you will come to us and, and guide us into our journey ahead and keep us safe as you kept this child and especially these precious children of yours. For it is in Jesus we pray. Amen. Okay, you guys can go off. Thank you. Thanks, Kenny.